It's state of the art, but arena construction hinged on honoring history. The roof, built for the 1962 Seattle World's Fair, is a designated landmark. It couldn't be replaced. Amazingly, there were only two people in the process, us and the city, that believed we could make it work by a complete new build and keep the roof. Everybody else said it couldn't be done. It could be done, but it wouldn't be easy. Crews erected temporary support to float the roof, while also digging out 600,000 cubic yards of dirt. That excavation doubled the arena's size while maintaining the original design. So as you can see, there's natural light that comes through all the windows from Old Key Arena. All the glass in the 44 million pound roof was all recycled. Believe it or not, not one window broke is unbelievable. Engineers also innovated a new way to circulate air inside. They call them snorkels. In a very direct comparison, you use a snorkel when you're swimming to get air above water. We've got a below grade building, we gotta get air through a straw. These four snorkels are the straws for the air. So the four snorkels are the key to getting fresh air into the arena and exhaust air out. A lot of us have played video games. This is like a giant game of Tetris. Pieces all have to come in, but they have to come in in a certain way. I would say I'm pretty damn good at Tetris. <laughs> The new design also includes a two-lane tunnel running beneath the arena. It leads to eight loading docks where crews can unload and set up for concerts more efficiently than ever. But it's just another way we can welcome all the artists back into our arena. Acoustical panels in the rafters will improve live sound. And visiting artists will also enjoy dedicated dressing rooms, a catered dining room, and a music room where they can record songs or messages to fans. Artists will want to feel like they're at home, and that's ultimately what we want them to feel like when they come to Seattle, is that they feel like they're at home at the end of the day. And the crews who made it a reality will know they helped change Seattle history. This is the kind of legacy that I'd like to leave for my kids that I was a part of such a great uh, structure that's, that's here. This is a very big project. I'm very happy to be and very proud to be a part of it.